Wendy? Wendy? Are you here? Adair. Hello, Chase. What? How come? I don't know which of us is more surprised. I can't believe it. Welcome home. Thanks. Let me get your bag. No, I'll get them. Adair, let me, please. Suit yourself. I can explain what I'm doing here. Oh, no, you don't have to. Let me help you with your coat. I can manage. Seems like years since we've seen each other. Hardly. Three months, two days. That was counting. I smell tea brewing. Mom must be home. Adair, your mother's not here. Justine's in the kitchen. Great, I can't wait to see her. She'll be out in a second. How was California? Fine. Did you like it? Your mom let me read I one of your it. letters. Are you uh, coming or going with those? Oh, these are for Justine. Oh. She came out of the hospital yesterday. Today was her first day back at the job. Did you hear what happened to her? Yes. I sent her flowers in the hospital. Right. That's right. They were lovely. She's been having a very rough time lately. I know. I brought these two her at work, but she'd already left for the day. So I know what I she's been them. through. My mom's written, and, and we've spoken. I just haven't spoken to Justine. I can't wait to see her. By the way, how's Alec? Fine. Alec is fine. He's in med school now. Already? Yeah. Oh, good for him. Yeah. He'll be glad to know that you're back in town. It'll be nice to see him if, if we run into each other again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you look beautiful. California really agreed with you. How's T.R.? Oh, she must be in seventh heaven to have two big brothers. You really are well informed, aren't you? She always idolized you. But then again, most young girls seem to. Hey! Low bridge, hot stuff. <laughs> Damsel in distress and all that. Uh, not anymore. <laughs> Help is here. Adair. I'll take it. I don't believe this. We were just talking about you. Well, now you can talk to me. I'll pour. Hi. Oh, Alec. Is your mom here? No, she's not. Don't you look... Professorial, or whatever the word is. Ah, right word, wrong symptom. I need these when I read a lot, especially when the print's this small. Small print, a book that big? <laughs> yeah, they're all like this. All? How many of them have you been reading? Libraries full. I'm surprised to see you here. Are you working? No, I'm waiting for my mother. Oh. Well, me too. She sent me a message about working on Henderson Nights, but I have to bow out. At least from the studio work. I might be able to work in writing a song here and there, but that's about it. School keeps me hopping. School? Medical school. You started medical school already. Yeah. Oh, well, that's... that's Congratulations. Thanks. <laughs> How do you like it? I love it. I love it. I feel like the door I've been searching for has finally been opened to me. Mm. Well, that's terrific. It really yeah. is. I thought you were just reading that to see what you were getting yourself into. Well, that's right. I haven't seen you in a while. I haven't had a chance to tell you. No, tell me what? Cutting class already? Uh, study break. <laughs> no. And where have you been keeping yourself? Chase tells me that getting you to put in time on the show has been like pulling teeth. Ah, uh, yeah, well, I've been busy. With the married man? No, 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 no. See, I broke that off. You and Mom convinced me that it was the right thing to do. Good for us. So who is it? Oh, now a girl has to have some secrets, doesn't she? 
I hope it works out. This time, I think it will. You be sure now. I have never been more sure of anything in my life. Good for you. I know you've had it hard in the past. I hope, I hope this one's worth the investment. He is. Good. <laughs> You're too nice a person to waste your time on a dead end. I didn't know Warren very well, only what people told me or what I read. You know something? I bet uh, a lot of things you didn't know until you looked beyond the cover of this book, huh? Yeah. Same thing with Warren. People never looked beyond the surface. People never wanted to get to know him. All they wanted to do was keep him down. If only they had given him the chance. None of this would have happened. This? I mean, you, you, you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's rough when people don't give you a chance. They let you down or, or run away. Warren never did that. You're lucky. Because when it happens, you can't do anything about it. So you keep telling yourself, if that's the way they want to live, then you just have to let them go. How can you do that? How can you do that if you really love someone? It's because you love them that you do. Oh, no. You see, that is where you and I differ. If you really love someone, if you're convinced that you belong together, you stay together, no matter what. You know, you look different. See, well, me. No, 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 no. You look, you look happy, peaceful. Happy. Happy, yes. <laughs> peaceful, I, I will be. Well, if it's this new guy, more power to you. Enough about me. Now that you've decided what to do with your life, are you happy? Yeah. <laughs> Good. I just wish I could share it with the right person. Oh, you will. I don't know. I think I blew my chance. Adair ran away. Oh, terrific. Walk into my very own office tonight on a welcoming committee. Actually, Stephanie, I'm here at your request. You are? Yes. Oh, of course, forgive me. It's just been one of those days. Uh, Mom, listen, I'm sorry you're so busy, but I need a few minutes of your time, too. You do. All right, uh, who wants to go first? Uh, why don't I let you finish with Alec? Uh, what I have to say might take a little while. Hey, Sonny, I'm sorry Morning. it took so long. Oh, that's all right. Uh, have you eaten? Would you like a little bit? No, of no, I'm not hungry. What can you tell me about... What can you tell me about Warren? Getting the body exhumed may not be as difficult as we thought. Great, why not? As his wife, if Wendy's willing to go along with the procedure and give her written permission, then there shouldn't be any problem. Wendy, give her permission? That's ridiculous, Sonny. You know she's never going to do anything like Patty, that. would you just calm down? Look, the only way we're going to get Wendy to do what we want is to force her to do it. Now, that is exactly the kind of talk that we don't need. If you or Susie do anything to put pressure on Wendy, it can end up bringing you more trouble with the police. No, no, I think that you should let me handle this. Susie's in no immediate danger, so we still have time. No danger? Warren crept into her room in the middle of the night when she was asleep. He could have done anything to but her. But he didn't. Look, don't you think that if Warren had really seriously wanted to hurt Susie, he would have done it by now? Who knows? I mean, maybe he had the whole thing worked out in advance. Maybe he's worked it out to make it look like... Like she's losing her mind. Maybe he's going to make it look like a suicide. I don't know. I think you're letting your imagination run away with you just a little bit. Why does that seem so unreasonable to you? We're talking about Warren Carter. The man is capable of anything. Yes, but we don't even know for sure that he's still alive. He's alive. Susie said so. She heard his voice. Cagney, the only thing we know for sure about that night is that things were not in their usual place when Susie woke up. Now, I've put things away and forgotten where I've put them. Haven't you? A whole room full of things? She's been under a lot of stress lately. Look, do you want to help us or what? You know I do, but you've got to let me. There are certain procedures that need There's to be There's no followed. way 
You're going to get Wendy Carter to agree to sign a piece of paper to let us dig up Warren's body. You tell me there's no way, and I'll find a way. She'll stonewall you. She has to, to protect herself and him. No, wait a minute. Slow down. Are you suggesting... You're wasting your time because she knows that Warren's alive. She's probably with him right now. Warren is hiding out with Wendy? Well, what makes you think that? I have reasons. You need more than that. What proof do you have? None yet. But you're planning to get it. Is that it? How? Wendy knows he's alive. She's not going to help us voluntarily. So what, you're going to confront her and try and force the truth out of her? <sighs> Cagney, don't you understand? You can't go to that apartment. Not you and certainly not Susie. If you do, you could jeopardize everything. <sighs> please. Please listen to me. I know what I'm talking about. Let me handle this. So there is no feasible way to commit myself to the show with that kind of workload. All right, what can I say? Just find the time to write us a hit song once a week. <laughs> can we please keep it a little looser than I'm that? I'm teasing you. Just know that any contributions you want to make to the show will be gratefully accepted. And uh, I guess good luck with your studies. Thank you, Stephanie. And thank you for understanding. Well, I better hit the books, but I'll be speaking to you, okay? And uh, you hang in there, all right? Keep thinking the good thoughts. Mm. You too. Yeah. Are you sure you don't want to change your mind? About what? Oh, he's so charming and uh, bright. Mother. And cute. Look, look, what I came here to talk to you about is very important. All right, darling, but uh, please say it because I've got to get on with this. I was thinking about how Susie treated you. Valentine's Day. Oh, that. Oh, don't tell me you have dismissed it or forgot about it. No, I've done neither. I've just attempted to chalk it up to the enormous amount of pressure that Susie is under these days. I mean, after all, who knows how I might not react in a similar situation. Certainly wouldn't accuse your stepmother of hate call against your baby. No, I wouldn't. Is uh, that why you dropped by, dear, to make me feel worse about everything? Uh, no, 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 no. Of course it isn't. Mom, I've been upset about you and Susie, and... <sighs> You know, I can't help thinking about Jonah. I know, I think about him too. You know, I didn't even call Susie that morning. That's what's so scary about it all. It's not as if she misunderstood something I said. It's, it's either somebody else called and she thought it was me or... She hallucinated the whole thing. Could she really do that? Anything's possible. With her state of mind, when she goes to trial, it's going to get worse. And if she goes to jail... Honey, I don't even want to contemplate that. Mother, it's a possibility. What's going to happen to Jonah then? I don't know. I really don't. Might be in Jonah's best interests to... What? I don't even want to consider it. Into what? Might be in Jonah's best interests, just for a little while. If he, uh, weren't near his mother. <laughs> saying before you came in that the one thing that remains constant in this confusing world is home. 
I'm so happy that you're here, Adair. This is wonderful. This is wonderful that you're here. I, you could knock me over with a proverbial feather, though. Right, Chase? Good to see you, too. Are you, uh, feeling as well as you look? Oh, I'm holding my own. So, fill me in. What made you decide to come home? Well, it's where I want to be. Oh, we need another cup and some more cookies. Unless you're serious about hating tea. There'd be one more reason why Chase can't stay. You must have a lot of work to do back at the studio. Well, yes, I do. It's piled up to the ceiling. In fact, I should go take care of it right now. Bye. Oh, here. I, um, I'll show you out. No, oh, I know the way. No, 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 hey. Um, thanks for the flowers. Later. Come here, I need a hug. <laughs> it's so good to see you. Oh, it's so good to be home. And to find you here. I missed you. Oh, I missed you, too. You know, your mom and I thought you might be coming home from some of the stuff you wrote. Really? Kate thought you sounded homesick. Yeah, I was. I mean, this is where I wanted to be. Mm, I'll second that. Mm. Oh, come on, come on. Now, now, now. Give, give. I, I want you to tell me everything. There's so much. Where do I start? Um, anywhere you like. Sun, surf, beach, men. Yeah, a little of everything. <laughs> Mostly soul-searching. Oh, boring. Did you find it? Your soul, I mean. Personally, I never thought you lost it. No, I didn't. Well, I guess I left it right here in my home backyard. You were homesick. No, it was more than that. I've run away for the last time. I am never going to let anybody or anything make me do that again. Spoken like a true McCleary. Which is what I am and proud of it. Sounds good to me. I was a tour guide at one of the studios in L.A. Did Mom tell you? Yeah, did you like it? No, no, oh. well, not at first. <laughs> See, it was real hard being so far away and, and trying to make my own living. But once I found out I could do it, it was, it was fun. I keep talking. I want to hear it all. Bottom line, as they say. Oh, listen to her. No, seriously. Nobody or nothing is going to throw me off balance again. That'll pass. And soon you'll be feeling just as insecure as the rest of us. I'm not so sure. I'm kidding. Um, so come on. Tell me what else. You must have, there must have been something or somebody. Well, I got to know Hogan a lot better. We talked a lot before he went to Africa. And you know, for the first time, he didn't, uh, he didn't baby me and he didn't pressure me to change or to grow up or to get a job or anything. Yeah? He was terrific. So much for older brother. Who else? What are you getting at? Men. A man. I mean, you, you met somebody, I bet. I met a lot of people. I mean, somebody special. You know, special enough to have you forget Chase Kendall or Al Kendall, too, for that matter. Look, I, um, I, I mean, I don't think I'm wrong. Did I misread what I saw when he was here? Justine, let's get something straight, okay? I came home because I wanted to, not for Chase or Alec or anybody else. Because I wanted to. <laughs> Cagney, please. You have got to promise me that you won't do anything illegal. A situation like this demands cool heads. Now, look. If you let me handle Wendy, she might not become so defensive. Especially if you're right and Warren is living there. I guess you're right. You know I am. Susie will be safe as long as you both stay away from there. But if your theory about Wendy's right, then Warren could be alerted. And believe me... If he suspects that you're moving in on him, then you really might have something to worry about. Until then, Susie's safe. All right. We do it your way. Wendy?
He wants my baby. Susie Wyatt. Yeah, uh, is Cagney there? Well, look, please leave a message for him. It's urgent. Would you would you tell him that I'm at Wendy's? No, he'll he'll know who I mean. And tell him we were right. He is living here. Tell him he's alive and is living here. Tell him that, Hank. He's alive and living here, and I'm taking Jonah. He'll understand. <laughs> Son. I have to get my son. You want to force my move, Susie? Fine. 